We are here with Batman himself, Kevin Conroy, at the 2017 San Diego Comic-Con for Batman and Harley Quinn. I'm a little jittery because I've always wanted to meet this man, <laughs> and now I got to. Kevin, it's a pleasure of mine. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I appreciate it. Quarter of a century later, still voicing the Dark Knight. How does it feel? Isn't that wild? I mean, you get a job. You kind of hope it's going to last a season or two. And 25 years later, you're still doing it. It just doesn't happen. I had asked Jason O'Mara, who said he was on a panel with you. I said, did you do your Batman voice to Kevin? And he said, nobody does Batman to Batman. <laughs> that was nice of him to say. No, it's fun. It's... It's, it's been an amazing journey to be on. You know, it's just a, he's such a great, iconic character. He's so good. He's got no superpowers, but he's, he's rooted in such tragedy in his childhood and his, his, the, 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 the death of his parents. And that's what all of his, his, his drive to do good for the world comes from. And that's what the audience relates to. The audience, the audience adores this character. And I love what you did being the first person to switch voices ever so slightly between your natural speaking voice and a more gravelly voice. Well, it made sense to me because they said, you know, I, I really was very naive to the story when I got it. They said, well, I said, wait a minute. He's the richest guy in town. He owns half the city. He's the most eligible bachelor. He puts on a mask and no one knows it's him. Seriously? I, come on. They said, let me play with the voice a little bit and, you know, disguise the voice. And they said, oh, that's a good idea. So early on... It was a much more dramatic difference. Um, I used the Scarlet Pimpernel with the old English movie with uh, Leslie Howard as my image. Um, he, was almost a, he was almost like a, a very sarcastic uh, playboy. And there's a lot of humor in him. And they loved it. But when the artwork came back, it was so dark that that reading was a little too, 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 too much fun. So they actually had me go back and tone it down a little bit. And now, Batman and Bruce Wayne, they're distinct, but it's much more subtle. Because the show is so dark, they didn't want it to be so d jarring for the audience. Now, this one's a bit more light-hearted light than this the original one, yeah. series. This, there's a lot of humor in this, but you know, the, the secret with humor is you never play the humor. The humor, when you're playing humor, you play it straight. And the humor is going on around you. The world is cockeyed around you. That's what's funny. And in this one, Harley Quinn is the cockeyed world around Batman. So the more true I am to Batman, the funnier it is. Because he's in this crazy situation. And now you reunited with Lauren Lester, who's taken on the role of Nightwing. And it, does this feel more like a high school reunion where two thirds of the class got back together and everyone's wondering what happened to the other third? <laughs> or what's the, what's the situation coming back together for all this? The great thing about it is that the original cast, which was put together by Andrea Romano, uh, Andrea casts actors who are very generous. She likes to work with people who are giving because you always just get a better performance. And the work atmosphere is just so much more constructive. So whenever I come back to Mark or Lauren or anyone who's been on the show, it's like seeing a, a cousin you haven't seen in a number of years. You just love them. You know them. And you just fit right back into the same situation. So we, we fit right back into the same groove. And, and um, um, uh, Bruce said it was like, we hadn't ever stopped doing the show. He said, my God, you guys are right back in the groove. I've told Andrea I have a crush on her, so it's okay. I completely understand. Oh, her. she's the best. She's the best. Yeah. And Batman Beyond, we're hoping for another film at some point. I, well, I hope so. Yeah, that would be great. I had told Andrea, and you can quote me on this if it ever happens, I know she doesn't have any power in the live action, but I would have loved to seen Clint Eastwood and Scott Eastwood be Bruce Wayne and Terry McGinnis. Oh, that would be cool. That's a cool idea. Especially since Terry's your clone that we found out later on in uh, Justice League Unlimited. Yeah, 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 yeah. That would be a cool idea. That's our geek right. knowledge that we're dropping okay. on everybody. So what can we expect from tonight's uh, screening? Because, the, you know, it's going to be in the hall. It's going to be packed. Everyone's going to be there, you know, cheering, cheering you guys on. What's the emotional I, aspect? I think the emotional is, I think they're going to be surprised at, at the humor in it. I really think there's going to be a lot of surprise in the hall. And I think it'll be pleasant surprise. Kevin, thank you so very much. Sure. I greatly appreciate it. Could we actually get a station ID? As well? Yeah. What is it? Uh, Fanboy Nation. Hi, this is Kevin Conroy, the voice of Batman, and you're listening to Fanboy Nation. <laughs>